What is the craziest place you ever had sex in your life? In the booth at an Irish pub. Yeah, I guess you want context. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking for today? Honestly, Raza, I just want a guy who's not gay. So what is your type then? I like a masculine man who works and has some chivalry and can appreciate a nice butt. Do you go for looks over personality? I've go, I go for personality over looks. Welcome back to Raza's office. I'm your host, Raza North. If you're new here, each week we give three people $50 if you leave a comment with your favorite contestant. Are you ready to find the love of your life? Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen today, but let's go for it. All right, let's go, let's see. Okay, I hate everything about this right now. Why do you, <laughs> you asked me for five guys. I, I was. I brought you she five guys. She wanted a burger, dog. I cre don't I don't notice. Don't notice. There's a little uh, bump going on right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just a dog? little bump. Let's let's go ahead and start with the first question. Contestant number one. Besides your flip flops, why do you think you're single? Oh, that's a pretty heavy question to start out with. Okay, um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I think I'm single because I grew up in an unsafe home and I was mistrustful of my peers and didn't develop well socially, but that's not something I'm going to let hold me back. Are you, are you trying to get laid or what? Thank you, contestant number one. That's enough out of you. Cheers. Contestant number two, why do you think you're single? Basically, I haven't found someone that can deal with my bullshit and I don't want to deal with their bullshit. Thank you. That's a very nice, honest answer. There we go. I like this guy. Contestant number three, why do you think you're single? Uh, I think I'm single because I'm just, I'm really obsessed with fitness and I can't, I can't find a girl that can keep up, <laughs> to keep up with my demanding physical lifestyle. <laughs> I think it also has, I'm a very picky eater and there's just, there's not a lot of good vegan options in Austin that, <laughs> that are ideal date spots. So contestant number three, you're a vegan. Yeah, also I'm not really into fat chicks, so it's, you know, <laughs> it's just kind of my, my, my lot in life. I'm just single because I'm just, I'm always in the gym. Yeah. Well, I can tell by your gym sneakers, you're, you're. I'm the only one here prepared for combat, yeah. you noticed? <laughs> so contestant number three is really into fitness. He's really. Yeah, I can tell through the I, belly I, coming I, I through the wait, I can't wait till round three. Contestant number four, why do you think you're single? Is it because you're black? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we are trying to hit on them. What? We're trying to hit on that's them. That's a compliment. That's how she does it. That's her type. Okay, all right. Shit, it's new for me, but go ahead. It's just hard for me to find a strong, <laughs> intelligent, sexy black woman <laughs> in Austin. Okay, well, I'm well, no, two no. out of three of those things, so. I'm, it sounds like zero, but. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, they had free pizza, so I'm here. Okay, well, that's good to know. Oh, gross, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, contestant number five, why are you single? Uh, I have a problem with telling women the truth. <laughs> <laughs> As in, you don't tell them the truth or you tell too much of the truth? Oh, I tell them the straight truth. The, oh, and they don't like it. Yeah. Can you give me an example of the most recent too much truth for a girl that you gave? Like, if you're like, oh, do you think I look fat? I'm like, I know you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were dating contestant number three recently. <laughs> Do you know who you're gonna eliminate? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can only eliminate one. Wait, wait, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta discuss this real quick, so. You can't get rid of the black guy first, that's no good. Did you like black guys? I, I did once, but I'll never do it again. Why not? I said, if you go black, you don't go back. Yeah, you do, oh, you, you, you go do back, go black. you go back really fast. So why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so you're into black guys? No. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want them to think you're racist. No, nope. oh, that's so funny. <laughs> you don't want them to think you're racist? Guys, she's not racist, okay? No, I am a little bit, but it's okay. Here's <laughs> Yeah, he definitely only came for the pizza. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not really invested in it. Yeah. Is that what we're getting rid of? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of contestant number four. I mean, why are we gonna do this to All ourselves? Right. Thank you. I don't know why we're clapping. You're done. You're done. I'm sorry I'm not black. You're good. You're just here for the pizza, weren't you? Yeah, y'all had a sign that said free pizza. All you had to do was take your shirt off. It's been nice. Thank you for coming for that. I hope you enjoy the pizza. Do you have anything to say to America? To America? Uh, I don't even like white women, so I don't even know why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> All right. I don't Get even him like off white the set. Women, so. Get him off the set. Is the pizza Pizza's over here? Pizza's on the rack. Okay, cool. I tell you, dude, this guy's taking up all our budget. We got some questions here, Raza, that I think are pretty gay. 
<laughs> let's ask them a question that's actually going to help me understand if we're compatible. Okay, let's go. Wait, what? Oh, shit, I like oh, this. She's actually trying? There we go. You're not all getting the same question. Contestant number one, what do you think about the Indians going to the moon? Oh, oh, they did? Well, I mean, yeah, you know, good for them. That's, it's nice that they're investing so much into scientific research instead of just <laughs> shitting on trains, you know, and, and, uh, hey, hey, and hey, 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 dead hey. people. <laughs> sorry, Raza, sorry. I'm just. I'm not Indian. I'm Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I have to fend for all of that nation. Okay, well. Wait, so how did that help you find if he's compatible? Because that was clearly the wrong answer. The, the real answer is all the moon landings are fake. Nobody's going to the moon. <laughs> And because he didn't know that, we're clearly not compatible because he's going to believe every piece of propaganda that comes out. All right, look, look, I'm trying as a wingman. You're making it real that, hard. That's where you're wrong because my dad's a rocket scientist and so I'm kind That's of enough out of you, decision. Kermit. Contestant number two, the gays. Oh boy. Should they have more rights, less, or should we put them back in the closet? Do we, we, wanna, we want to not get canceled? We need something to him how he answers. You don't know what we're okay, going to say. Okay, he's cheetah shorts, so he deserves it. That's why he got this question. That's a who. Uh, well, um, I figure gay people need to be as miserable as straight people and allow them to get married and see what that's all about. Um, you know, someone wants to get butt in their bedroom, that's up to them. Um, so I'm not, you know, pro or against it. I'm kind of like, you do you and I'll do me. Like literally? No, no, oh god. <laughs> Contestant number three. Hey. After the economic collapse that's caused by the hordes of illegal migrants being shoved into our country, where are we gonna live? Man, um, probably the moon after India colonizes it. I heard they just went there for the first time for real. Definitely 100% for sure went to the moon. <laughs> um, I don't think that the migrants are gonna defeat us. I think that we're gonna stand our ground and then Texas will become a separate country and Elon Musk uh, will be president and then we will defeat them all with rockets and Teslas. I like that. That's a good answer. See, you gotta play to your play to your strengths, boys. Yes. She's a crazy bitch. You gotta talk to her like one. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number five. Who do you think did 9-11? Oh, Bush, 100%. Hell yeah. But I mean, he did it for the greater good. So, it, you know, we had to get some oil. The answer I was looking for was the j Oh, shit. I'll accept it. All right. <clears throat> Contestant number one. Describe your sex life if it was the title of a song. Jump by Van Halen. I get up and nothing gets me down. You got it tough. I seen the toughest around. And I know, baby, just how you feel. You got to roll with the punches and get to what's real. That was, that that was, was pretty good. Really good. That was actually really good. That was good. I'll give you that. I'll give you a round that was of good. applause. Contestant number two, describe your sex life if it was the title of a song. Um, Link 182, All the Small Things. All the small things. I don't remember the <laughs> So why did you choose that song? It was fun. That's the only reason? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Contestant number three, describe your sex life if it was the title of a song. Uh, who Wants Smoke? by Nardo Wick. Uh, you may know it, he goes, ta, 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 ta. what the f is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great song. I'll take your word for it. Contestant number five, describe your sex life if it was the title of a song. You can't always get what you want by the Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find Get what you need. They're trying to woo you. I They're don't think they. To... I don't think they are, Raza. But that's okay. We can just continue. Listen, listen. Don't you want someone to have a boombox outside your window? No. Okay. What What would you prefer? She'd shoot them. Thank you. <laughs> this is a tough nut to crack. Yes. Yeah. She hates music that's not played in a hookah lounge. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask this of contestant number one. Contestant number one. What is the craziest place you ever had sex in your life? Hmm. In the booth at an Irish pub. Yeah, I guess you want context. Um. <laughs> <laughs> please, please give us some context. Yeah, we, we'd eaten dinner, we'd had a few drinks, you know, a snake bite, half Guinness, half, you know, just a few of those things. And, uh, and we were talking and she seemed kind of real interested in me and then we were kind of kissing a lot and then I fingered her till she came and then, uh, and then we got kicked out. Okay, I just okay. threw up in my you mouth just... a little bit. <laughs> Didn't need all that, but thank you. Contestant number two, 
What is the craziest place you had sex? Against an F-16 out in Las Vegas. Mm. Um, I used to actually work on <laughs> F-16s back in the day, so it was one of those opportunities and I took it. Contestant number three. What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest place you had sex? Uh, probably the top of Mount Everest. Uh, I free climbed solo and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I met this gorgeous Sherpa up there and she fed me yak milk and one thing led to another and well, we, we summited a different mountain that day. Are you telling the truth, contestant number three? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> contestant number five, what's the craziest place you had sex? In the mountains of Greer, Arizona. Yeah, what is up with you guys in mountains? <laughs> no, this one's We're true. We're fitness people. <laughs> no, I was working out there. I had to do it for a job. It was with this lesbian couple. They Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, contestant number five, you gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, you slut. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate oh. you. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry, I got rid of some white trash. Anybody who's willing to have sex with two lesbians, it's just not okay. You can have sex with two chicks, but they can't be gay. I mean, what's next? You're gonna get, take a dick in the ass? I don't know. I can't. She's not down for pegging, fellas. That's yes. what she's getting at. Yeah, I'm not. All right, can I eliminate myself? <laughs> <laughs> You feel like your selection is uh, good so far? Nope. Why? I think I'm the greatest wingman on the planet. You're horrible, Raza. I, the one guy that was jacked, you eliminate him because you're racist. First of all. Don't look at me. You said you hate he black people. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. What do you dude, mean one dude, guy that was jacked? Gaslighting me now? Uh, I went to therapy. They told me that I'm pretty good at it. I could see that. Contestant number three. Hey. What would we do on our perfect first date? Uh, we definitely eat. <laughs> I feel like that's important on a date. Uh, good food. Uh, it's a great time for conversation. And then probably we could just go bang in my car. Uh, or if my roommates aren't home, we can just go back there. That'd be sick. Uh, and then we could just, we could watch uh, YouTube conspiracy theory videos and uh, smoke vapes. All right. I like contestant number three. Well, well everyone man. does. Contestant man. number three sounds like an alcoholic Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> and what's wrong with oh, that? Oh, I'm sorry. You mean the most fun person ever? <laughs> my bad. You trying to see my North Pole? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think anybody can see your North Pole. Have you, have you seen your North Pole? In, in the past few years? Uh, it's it's like the Aurora Borealis. When you see it, it's beautiful, but it's only certain times a year. Contestant number two, what would we do on our perfect first date? Perfect first date would probably be something competitive, um, just so I can feel that out. Um, probably eat as well, because, you know, I like to eat too. Um, food's good. Um, and then we end the night with you sitting on my face, waterboarding me like a terrorist in Guantanamo Bay. Contestant number two, Two, do you have a touch of autism? No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's this one. Proximity based. <laughs> Contestant number one, what would we do on our perfect first date? Well, after a pastoral picnic lunch in a meadow <laughs> by a stream, uh, we would put on tactical gear and rappel into the White House, into the Oval Office, and kidnap Joe Biden and ask him about what's really going on. Uh, and then we would take him- He doesn't uh, know. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to get any answers. He might be uh, no, well, we're, we're going to kidnap him so that the people who really know what's going on are, are going are to give up the secrets in exchange for his rickety old ass. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I gotta I say like, that I sounds like, like that sounds like, like the most fun date, dude. Contestant number one, what's something about yourself that would scare me away? You don't have to answer that because <laughs> 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 I already know. Well, thanks for making it easy for me. And and by the way, I do appreciate standing behind this curtain because I have sensory issues and it's kind of nice not to look at stuff for a while. Okay, um, yeah. That's, you said it, that's it, got it, got the answer to the question. I, I don't get it, are you guys trying to sell yourselves or sabotage? No, I mean, I, I think, uh, no, I think she likes me. <laughs> yes, contestant number two, what's something about yourself that would scare me away? I would probably say that I will disconnect from you immediately. Because <laughs> you are not my type at all. What? What is going on? All right, contestant number three, what's something about yourself that would scare me away? I think how much you love me. I think, I think, <laughs> I think it would scare you how much you love uh, my beautiful body and the bounty that it brings. Uh, and I, I think you would scare yourself falling for alcoholic Santa. All right, I already know who I'm gonna eliminate. You're gonna agree. Uh, we're gonna eliminate contestant number two. Contestant okay. number two, all right, come out. All right. I mean, he kind of looks like Fred Durst. Not, don't say it to his face. What, I'm not supposed to? It could be worse. You just don't seem like a motivated fella. That's all. Hey, I can accept that. Yeah. We have job openings. Yeah. 
Oh, I got a good job. Oh, yeah. I'm good. He has a great job. That's great. That's, I cannot f his money. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> This has been going so well. Great. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. All right. Yeah. All right. I tried. Contestant number one, if you were to describe your penis as an animal, what would it be and why? I would say that my penis is like a lungfish because it can survive for months in a wet, oxygenless environment. What the f is a lungfish? I would also say it's like a horse because it can go all day without slowing down. Oh, God. My penis is like a sea otter because it's soft and fluffy and, well, it's, it's, sorry, slippery, smooth, and a great swimmer. My penis is like a blue whale because it's big. Uh, Do you know that- It's also like a Great Dane because while it is big, it's uh, not so big you can't take it in Wait, the house. Wait, so is your penis all of these things? Oh, yeah. My penis is poetry, man. It's everything everywhere all at once, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Contestant number three. If you were to describe your penis as an animal, what would it be and why? Uh, I would describe my penis as an oyster because uh, after a little bit of champagne, really cool girls put it in their mouth. And it'll make you sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an oyster sounds more like a vagina. Well, also, he had one answer, whereas contestant number one had multiple ways to describe it. Yeah, well, that's scarier. Yeah, yeah uh, contestant number one is skinny fat, and uh -huh. contestant number three just went for it, and I respect that. So, so you think he doesn't have commitment issues? He doesn't. He knows what he wants and he just keeps going for it. Contestant number one, why don't you choose a struggle? Why, why'd you go skinny fat instead of skinny or just fat? Um, I think I've chosen the struggle of being me, which is enough. <laughs> <laughs> I also right. have another answer for that question, which no, no, is no, no. funnier than the other one. <laughs> I swear to God. Anymore. We don't need I any more. I swear to God. I don't need okay, any more right, answers. Wait, wait, I kind of want to hear it. Go ahead. My penis is also a rare bird. <laughs> 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 because, because no one's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in a <laughs> anyway, uh, my penis is like a ferret because it can find the deepest part of any burrow. Okay, that's enough. Jesus I didn't really didn't, I didn't need to hear that. I know. I'm oh my god. Up. I'm listen, actively listen, throwing you're up. You're traumatized, but I'm also getting traumatized. Yeah. We're in this together. We're in this together. Oh, oh you're involved. such pussies. Words traumatizing enough you. Enough out of you. Uh, Sounds like these libs need a safe space. <laughs> 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 Are you ready to see the full reveal? Here we go. Let's go. All right, guys, let's reveal the finalists. Go ahead and walk up. There we go. There we go. What are you, what are you thinking? You look like a giant Kirby, and you look like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah, I am his uh, stepson. Hey, what do you guys think about her? Whoa, hot lady. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you didn't tell me there was a hot lady in here. I would have hit my fat. Contestant number one, I want you to do 10 push-ups to see if you'll be the winner. We know he's great at counting. One. <laughs> One more. Ten. Okay. All right. Look at that. Come on. Yeah. Nice. That was, he is red as a tomato. Don't you just want that on top of you? All I right. should exercise more often. I feel fantastic. <laughs> Contestant number three. I would like you to do one sit-up to see if you'll win my heart. I sure hope I can. <laughs> oh, they're working together for her. It's teamwork. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, what am I fucking Rocky, dude? Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah, girl. You like this? Oh. I don't like this view at all. <laughs> all right, that's more than that's yeah. more than champion. Yeah. There we go. I don't know, man. Can, I... can, can we give it up for him? Yeah. He really yeah. tried. Look, uh, contestant number one, you did do 10 push-ups, but those first three were half-ass. You couldn't really get down. We could reshoot. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we really can't. And you had so much uh, redness, hmm. just struggling to lift your own body weight. It was a huge turnoff. Well, isn't it a sign of like hard work? No. No? You shouldn't have to work that hard to lift your own body weight. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> contestant number three, he did more than one sit-up, even though I only asked for one. And so that shows me that he's gonna give me more than I ask for. Oh, he's definitely giving you more than you ask for. <laughs> Let's go. So who are we choosing ultimately? I am choosing contestant number three. Contestant number three. Let's, Let's go. go. There we go. Look how happy you are. The new couple. And look at the retarded guy wins I, prom. I, I, 